the next thing I wanted to make a quick video about that I think there's quite a bit of confusion on is how to hook up what's the difference between hooking up loads uh, that you want to power up with your sunny island and your trailer uh, versus uh, if you want to do um, hook up the trailer to uh, your home or a structure that already has the grid connected and you just want to supplement that power um, obviously uh, hooking up the loads is when you would is uh, what is done uh, through any of the outlets on the trailer and uh, so you know we have the 50 amps that are shown here and uh, those can be uh, hooked up to whatever loads you want but the bigger question is what if you want to hook up your trailer uh, to a structure that already has uh, the grid connected and you want to supplement that power with uh, the 10 panels that are on your grid. Uh, you would need to hook up to this bottom plug right here. Uh, this is the same place that the generator would hook in uh, if you had uh, a generator on your trailer. And uh, you can see that we have a line, in this case, uh, running to a 220 uh, 220 outlet like a dry like a like a dryer plug or something like that and so a couple of advantages to hooking up that way are one uh, if your batteries are low and need to be charged by the grid if you don't have a generator you can uh, charge your batteries. The SMA Sunny Island will charge your batteries that way. Um, but you have to have the correct modes set if you want to back if you want to back feed the grid uh, or supplement the power in your home. And so the first setting that has to be correct is this um, two thirty one uh, item number five, your external source, um, in many cases is set to generator, uh, but you'll need to set it to grid uh, or gen grid, but you want to set it to grid if you want these settings, which are your grid control, those won't even be available unless the external source is set to grid. So let's go do that. probably make us turn off the inverter first, but let me can go double check that. So here is our external source, and you can see that external source is currently set to grid. And so once we've verified that, we can now go to menu item 232. Point and we're gonna go and make sure that it's in grid feed mode instead of grid charge mode so go to 32 and go down to item number 8 and voila we are in grid feed mode 
and if we needed to change these um, it might it will probably re uh, need the password uh, so we would go through the password process and it might even require us to turn off the unit uh, first and then go down and, and make those settings but uh, that's how we do it and so once it is in grid feed mode and uh, connected uh, to the grid and we have uh, sun hitting our solar panels we can go and verify that we have uh, power moving from the trailer to the grid by the arrow that is pointing to the G. So it's pointing from the battery to the grid and uh, that means that we are back feeding energy uh, into our structure or to the grid. Thanks for watching.